Hey, it's Debo here. I'm testing out the whole live streaming thing. Uh, just because I've really not liked editing for the last month or so. But I've been quitting smoking. That's why I haven't been broadcasting or making videos for a minute or two. Uh, but today is just a test. See how it goes. I've got four bag CMFs here that I sought out last night. I believe they are the three that I still need to get. Plus a double of one that I really wanted. So let's see. On the fly setup here. Babu. All right, so let's see what we got. And the first one is one that I did need. And it's the one that I hope I got two of. I got the singer. Now, some folks have said that this could be a... Um, Drag performer could be a cabaret singer, but I get I get the impression of like Carnival when I uh, I see this little figure here. Yeah, and I've honestly this is this is the one I wanted more than any of the others. Let's see, we've got a. A little tail here, a little train, as it were. There's a little bit of a bend to it. Yeah. All right, and just to do this the right way, I'm going to look at the instructions because I don't want to be that guy. Let's see. All right, put a little bit of a twist into that later. Looks like the microphone stand, they just have a hollow stud bar clip. The mic, spare mic, a spare hollow stud, and spare bar on the pack. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get her in frame there. Yeah, only one camera. I am just lucky to have that. All right. Next thing. And I did get two. I got it. All right. Boom. Bobby, watch that. Then we get, again, all the same accessories. I won't, uh, I won't repeat it again. There. And I did put a little notch in the bag before this just to make it a little easier. So I didn't want to be on the struggle bus. All right. And yes. We got Jaguar Warrior. You know, some folks will call it an Aztec Warrior. I mean, technically. But, I mean, it's a Jaguar Warrior. If you've ever played Civilization um, and you start off as the Aztecs, this is one of the benefits to being an Aztec is you get the Jaguar Warrior when you start off. And it's like, uh, they're just tough dudes. I mean, they go out there, they take no uh, take no guff. So yes, Jaguar Warrior. And you can see on the figure there, on the shield, there's a jaguar face, and on top of the uh, on the helmet there, that's 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 a jaguar. So for real, jaguar warrior. Boom! Yes, so happy. Honestly, I'd like to get some more of that. And I batted a thousand on this one. This is the pug person, pug guy. Decent little print for the uh, little handkerchief around it. This is this is probably the figure I was least enthusiastic about for this time around. Uh, although it does have the short legs, that's cool. Um, but it does have the dark turquoise, also known as teal, uh, little doggy bone, which 
first I thought that's got to be just like a rotten, nasty bone. But I mean, I'm thinking it's like a chew toy because that would make more sense, right? So there it is. Yeah. Very cool. And I mean, that's that's got some peace possibility. And of course, she's got the dark turquoise going on here, too. With the headdress. I call it a headdress. There's probably a better word for it. But turn it around, and there's no print on that. And look at that. There's, there's a lot of possibility with that shape. I mean, you got a nose. You got maybe an eye with eyebrows. Funky ears. I mean... There's there's a lot, and I'm, I'm glad I got to so I could do some stuff with it. All right, well, that's it for this live stream. Uh, no viewers. I didn't think there'd be any viewers. Maybe there's one viewer. Maybe that's just me. Um, anyway, thanks for checking it out. This was just a dry run just to see how it goes, and I guess it worked okay. So if I can keep myself talking about things long enough, um, I'm probably going to try and do this because... I am, as of today, 29 days, quit smoking, uh, so I've treated myself to a little something special. I uh, I missed out on Ninjago City the first time around, and of course, Ninjago City Docks, uh, and I'm a city person. And then it didn't really, at the time that they were out, it didn't really affect me so much. I was like, maybe it'd be pretty cool to get this, uh, but I just don't have the space for it. Um, but doing all kinds of calculations i've made room in here in my head uh for an addition we might be seeing it in a hot minute or so hey what's up lucas i am just almost on my way out here actually but uh if you got any questions while i'm here hit me up man uh this is just a test to see how everything is uh how this whole live stream thing works because uh i've got uh i got a set or two on my on a Put together this way or you know just show off anything in the collection talk about storage solutions mocks mock possibilities things lego did didn't do uh things that might be coming out i don't like to talk too negatively about lego sets because i mean they've all got possibility you break them apart and you can totally make something else with it so there's there's always a plus there, even the Jack Stone stuff. Yeah, even the Jack Stone stuff. All right, well, Babu. Yeah, I can show you the city. All right, Babu. I was going in the box. And let me uh, keep some of the stuff here from rolling around so I can get that. I just got like a lot of little tables in here so it's kind of uh it's kind of like jenga moving things around all right boom boom all right so the city and i've i've got some stuff stored up in here all right this cup such a way. So starting off here, we got the uh, hidden side lighthouse. That's that's two hidden side lighthouse sets uh, together. And I'm using my desk or er, laptop here, so it's I'm just kind of scooting around. Um, but yeah, two of those sets thrown together. I mean, a couple of other pieces in there just to make it uh, make it stronger. Mostly on the interior uh, to bulk up. So that this has something more solid to sit on. And got the hidden side trim boat. And I, I, I love hidden side very much. I'm sad it's just gone. But uh, those, those are the brakes. And a uh, little lagoon here. We got uh, some jet skis and surfers, sewer tunnel, whatnot there. Various little, this is, this is the only really bit in town where you get uh, any vegetation. And then over here is the Bat Cave. And Wayne Manor. I'm gonna do a little something here so it makes it more visible. Kinda. I could try stop motion. I thought about stop motion. I got 
a lot of ideas for stop motion. I just don't have the ambition for stop motion. You can kind of see in the back cave there a little bit. Um, and then the, uh, the lights for the back cave also work for Wayne Manor too, and the fountain above Wayne Manor. So, yeah, pretty detailed. And I've got, I've got videos uh, detailing some of the stuff. I haven't updated it too much since then. Uh, they're in my feed there. But actually staying on the underground, going over here, we've got kind of an underground highway system and a subway line. And that extends all the way back and through. And then under and behind the bat cave there, there's like a, a underground bat hanger space thingy of sorts. Sorry, I got to hit the, uh, the buttons on these. I'm, I'm lighting it with power functions. So I don't want to run out of batteries too much. Oh, the guy from Fortnite? You mean Galactus? This cat right here? Um, Galactus isn't actually from Fortnite. Galactus is a Marvel Comics character that came out um, for the Fantastic Four. I believe he made his debut somewhere around like 1960, in, in the mid-60s. Uh, so he's been around for longer than the people who made Fortnite. Um, but, I mean, Fortnite... Just, I guess the people who made it showed them some love. Um, but yeah, that's, I've been meaning to make Galactus, little cat over there. Um, ever since I really started with Lego, uh, it's, I don't know, it's like, I've been looking at all the mechs that they've been coming out since like Exoforce and thinking, how can I make a Galactus? Because I'm a big Silver Surfer fan. And Silver Surfer uh, was made by Galactus. So that's, that's the guy. Uh, Golden Metal Beard. He's the one that came with... Uh, let me switch these lights again. He's, he's the cat that came with... Uh, it was like a little disco set for the Lego Movie 2. You can also probably see a cat behind me when I move. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. Uh, he's got... Trumpets and sound systems, like an old phonograph thing happening there. Of course, the contents of his chest, sausage and bone. Keyboards. It's pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet figure. Uh, I've got a couple of them out here, actually, because I got some new drawers, but to put other things in there, I cleaned out these, these bigger mechish figures. Uh, so this is Lex Luthor's mech, their exosuit, whatever you want to call it, came out. Uh, it was like the first time they came out with Lex Luthor and Superman. So I had to get that. And then, of course, this is what? Reinhardt, I guess this is his name, from Overwatch. Uh, I don't play Overwatch. I don't play Fortnite. Apologies for that. Uh, I play Katamari. <laughs> I play a lot of Katamari. I play uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors when there's a new one. Um, I, play, I play a lot of strange games. And of course, the Molten Man. I've stolen a couple pieces for other builds from this guy. My favorite thing in the city, <sighs> honestly, is probably the structure that holds the whole thing up. Because this is double layer. Um, and these are like columns of supports that go all the way back through this thing. And then we have a crisscrossing of uh, Technic, uh, Technic bricks going across the top. So like uh, 14 long and 10 long Technic bricks, I think, uh, alternating all clamped together and then just kind of a webbed network. So that, and that, that's pretty cool. Also, <laughs> uh, the Opera House is pretty nice. Yeah, Subway has great sandwiches. Um, and we got the Subway sandwich maker right down there. Um, but yeah, the white building, that, that one's more of a something just to house the figures. There's no um, nothing really elaborate going on on any of the floors, except for that top floor. The top floor is where Tony Stark is right now. Uh, because this isn't his natural territory, and plus Tony's been through some things financially. He had to get a little penthouse in another building that he doesn't own. 
sadly. Uh, so that's why he's up there. But he, it's it's him, Pepper, Magneto. Honestly, that's the least populated floor. There's only maybe six or eight figures in there. Uh, each of the other three floors uh, below that have 50 or more figures each in there. Um, very bottom floor of that is a Ferrari museum which I'd like to give a tour of, but it's probably going to be a tour just before I break it down and fix it up into something else because I got some garage bits over here. If I don't knock anything down, I'm trying to grab at it. So I ended up getting this set on clearance and it just kind of grew on me. I've been like, even the ones I get to just use for parts, I've been, uh, I've been building the initial thing. So I built this up and I really liked it. So I want to integrate it into the bottom of that uh, building over there. Plus, we need a fueling station in town. I don't, I don't have a gas pump in here. And I mean, it's not really a town. It's just maybe a section of a town, a corner of a town. So yeah, it's just a little back corner. But I do have the lion dance going on at the intersection right now because it being New Year and whatnot. Uh, do I have the Lego Ninjago 10th anniversary sets? I got two. Um, one of them I'm going to be building on the stream hopefully next week because this is a stream. It's a thing now, I guess. Uh, the other is Zane's Titan Mech, which is endlessly cool. Um, this thing I had to order January 1st. This is the one thing I wanted this year. Like if I didn't get any other Lego set this year, this, this would have been the one. This thing is awesome. It's super articulated. It's got weapons at the ready. Pretty good hands. I mean, he's three-fingered, but uh, they're they're pretty solid fingers. Uh, except for the way they put these on, these two here. Sorry if the lighting is not the greatest. Uh, the connection is one of those plates with the studs coming off the side there to this bar right there, but it doesn't snap or click or anything. A Lego set I want to buy? Well, there, there are a few of them that are in my uh, uh, wish list online. But if I, uh, let's see, if, if, if I was going to say that there's one in, in, in back in the history to go back and get, it'd be the first Ninjago City, for sure. Um, that's one I had the opportunity to get. I had the opportunity to get it at 30% off, but I just I just let it go because that was the first time I had been in the Lego store in forever and had a chance to get at the pick a brick wall. <laughs> so I just I spent more money than I should have on the pick a brick wall. I didn't have enough money to get the Ninjago City. Uh, so I kind of regretted that. Um, so there's that one. Uh, but anything that's out now or just came out that I would want to get, um, I've had my eye ear, my ear, I've had my eye on the Top Gear so, uh, Technic set. Uh, I've had my eye on the Technic Volvo set. Uh, all, the, all the higher priced Technic sets are awesome and I'd love to have them. But it just kind of seems like it would be an RC car type of thing where you get the set, put it together, you play for it with man about an hour or two and then you just you just set it aside and just look at it uh and then it collects dust whereas even like the stuff that i have that isn't motorized it still gets moved around and shifted and you know stories change in town every once in a while so it uh i think it's a little bit more play value than than that but honestly if i were to get a technic set it probably wouldn't remain <laughs> as is for too long because i'd like to get into doing uh gbc's great ball contraptions but I, again, it's it's a matter of ambition and, and patience, especially with those. Oh, Ninjago City Gardens. Well, keep uh, hit up your notifications bell um, because might be live streaming, putting that thing together before too long here. So probably uh, probably Monday. Most likely Monday. Yeah, I think I think Monday because I want to see how far. I can get building that like in in eight hours. I want to I want to see how, how many bags I can get through in that in that period of time. Uh, just because I, I you know I like to time myself. It's it's a fun little thing to do. But again, with this fit this 
Zane's mech here. The, the cockpit's not too decked out, and you can see I don't even have Zane in it. But um, the reason I really wanted to get this is because I'm a fan of the anime uh, Gurren Lagann, uh, Tinga Tapa Gurren Lagann. And this, it's, this reminds me a lot of uh, the mechs that they had in that. And uh, actually, the guy who created this, uh, Nick at Lego, he's uh, he's a fan of anime as well. So, yeah, yeah, this this, this is very special to me. Um, yeah, but uh, you got any more questions? Um, I'm, on, uh, I'm on the East Coast, so it's about lunchtime. Old Lego sets I want to buy. Well, Space Police Three is one of my favorite themes. Uh, I've got one of the sets there. And in the poly bag, they had like a little police dog. So I've kind of recreated that. So there are a couple of those ones that I want. Um, there was like this purple space tow truck, which was pretty sweet. Um, I really like to get that. But but uh, when you when you look at the older Lego sets, it, it kind of gets cost prohibitive. Best thing best thing you could do for that is just kind of keep your Keep your eyes open. Uh, check thrift stores, uh, Lego Mart, or some people do the fa Facebook Marketplace. I think it's called, uh, but I don't. I don't Facebook. So, uh, Lego Movie One. Yeah, there's some Lego Movie stuff. Uh, Apocalypse Bird from from Two. I'd really like to get uh, for the Lego Movie One. The only thing I have in here uh, is the double decker couch, and that's actually in the police station right now. Um, but I would think the uh, some of the police stuff that they had from that was was really sweet, like the the flying police vehicles. Uh, they had like more of a SWAT van type floaty thing and then the one for the good cop bad cop metal beard ship yeah metal beard ship is is sweet but it's massive uh i don't know where i would put it i think it was uh what was it like 350 when it first came out so you can only imagine what it is now uh just looking at prices that people are trying to get for retired lego sets it's it's just not worth it uh so if you if you see something and you know you want it try and get it because otherwise, I mean, you have to pay sometimes uh, four times the amount to get it new. Uh, sometimes you can you can still like Lego holds its value really well. So even if you were to pick up a used set, sometimes you'd be paying, if not the cost it was at the time, double the price. Uh, depending on if they got the box or instructions, or if you want the box or instructions or stickers, or if you need all that. But yeah, Metal Beard Ship is is one that I uh, that was pretty pretty jazzed about uh, but speaking of pirate ships I'm gonna show this over here because this is something I wanted to do um, do a video for but then once I stopped smoking I kind of lost my passion for anything so I didn't want to make any videos <laughs> or cut any videos for that matter uh, it, it got pretty depressing but I, I think I'm finally on the other side of that. so let me get this out of the way uh, hidden side high school uh, getting broken down to combine with that garage. Yeah, this is my underwater area over here. And it's 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 something I've been working on since it must have been last September because uh, I don't know if uh, you're, you're a member of Tricky Lug, but uh, Flynn and Richard from US Lego Masters Season 1 have. Uh, have a stream actually it's going to be on today at one o'clock uh tricky bricks and they have uh weekly challenge submissions and one of the challenges that they did was an underwater one and so i started working on this and then it got way out of hand i was like there's no way i'm going to finish this in a week or even make anything that looked good in a week so i just kind of did a little scene where it was just the uh, life aquatic sub that i got here but give it a little if my cord will reach Kind of a little overview there. I, I just didn't really get a lot of success with the uh, with the vegetation and whatnot down here. I don't think so. I'm pretty much going to scrap this. the The central bit of the whole thing, the the pirate ship there with the clear Technic beams uh, holding it up, and then the uh, the water tape for the background. Like I I love all that. And then I love all the, the the animals and whatnot, but the vegetation just didn't click for me. 
And I, I got a friend of mine, Monica, to, to try and give me su suggestions because like she's a greebling wizard. But I just I just couldn't get it to uh, I couldn't get it to gel. So I'm probably going to just scrap it, start fresh or what I really would like to do is find a large, uh, very cheap old aquarium and do this setup inside an aquarium. But we'll we'll see about that. All right. All right. Well, I am going to wrap this up for today. I'll try and make it so the table doesn't joggle so much when it moves. Um, but yeah, so thanks. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for stopping by. Lucas. Um, and thank you anybody else for who's might be watching this. But yes, this is this is merely a test of the Don Brickles broadcast network, uh, because Monday we're going to be cracking into Ninjago City Gardens. Yeah. Why, Commissioner Gordon? Why? Uh, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. Uh, don't know if you ever saw that movie. It's a little bit messed up. It's not your typical A-fall thing that people would do. But I saw it. I actually kind of liked it uh, more than I thought I was going to because I kind of talked smack about it before I actually watched it. But then I watched it and I was like, okay, yeah, this is cool. There's like maybe one bit in there. Like they had a digitally inserted deer. Which is my only griff with the movie, which is which is really saying something. But so I made the billboard based on that. You know, there's I won't go into the story. If if you're interested, watch the movie. Uh feed billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri. Um but I, I, I thought that was just like a fun little play on something. So you're nine? Nice, nice. You got you got a long way to go. Uh and a lot of Lego to get. Start getting your Lego now. And then by the time you're my age, you will have so much more Lego than, than I do now. Uh, I started collecting Lego. Well, I got the pirate ship around 2004. Um, but I had been getting, and that's that's when I got Brick, Brick Link and really, you know, dove in. But um, before then, you know, I get a set here, set there. I had like the cloud... Uh, the cloud car or the cloud city car uh the orange thing from empire strikes back and i think i had a harry potter set here and there and uh divers there was some late 90s diver stuff that came out that really got me back into it you know because ever since i was a little kid lego sharks like lego sharks have been my thing um and i, I just loved them so it was like just a little diving bell but it came with like two or three sharks and it was like heck yeah so I ended up picking that up and then, yeah, and then it's all kind of, you know, it just snowballs. It just accumulates, you know, like a Katamari, you know, as it rolls, it picks up more and, and it gets bigger. And then you have a city in front of you with Galactus. Um, incidentally, if you want to know where Gal Galactus came from, uh, Fantastic Four, number 48, uh, check it out. It's uh, Silver Surfer and Galactus come on the scene. Galactus is only one panel at the very end of the comic, so it's like a cameo. Um, but yeah, please check it out because it'll it'll give you more of the story on that guy, and then you'll see that he's just like he's not really a villain so much as a force of nature. Uh, he's a holdover from uh, a previous galaxy or not galaxy, previous universe that existed before this last Big Bang. Uh, so he is the only survivor of the, of the previous universe. <laughs> Uh, and because of that, like he got hit with some kind of cosmic energy, which, you know, made him who he is like immortal and huge. And uh, he can change his size. Um, he eats planets whole. Yeah. Lego video. Yeah. I'm going to get me some Lego video for sure. Uh, definitely the candy mermaid as far as the boxes go. But one thing I'm worried about with the Lego video is, uh, Hidden Side had an AR component to it, which was like their main thrust of the, the theme. Like you get it and then you get to shoot the shoot the ghosts on your phone. Uh, but it had like an AR, so augmented reality thing where it would pick it up on your phone's camera and then do an overlay, uh, which is what video is going to be. Um, I brought a brand new phone thinking, yes. And the, the main reason for that phone was to play Hidden Side. Um, but yeah, get the phone. Try to download it. No, nope, doesn't doesn't want to do it on this phone. So I got uh, I got waxed out of that. So I'm hoping that video is more accessible broadly. 
Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Because I, 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 I really dig the concept, you know, just overlaying different elements, you know, to make your own videos and, and music and beats and stuff. And I just, I think that's so cool. Um, but I would like to be able to participate in it as well. So I, I hope the AR stuff is a, is a little bit more open uh, as far as the source. Whatnot. But yeah, so thanks for checking it out. Uh, thanks to anybody who might be stopping by in the future and watching this and saying what's going on with Devo streaming. Yeah, I'm going to start streaming. This, this, is just, this is just a test. But uh, yeah, I have to go. But checking um, Tricky Bricks is going to be airing in an hour. Uh, so I'm going to get some lunch before that starts. Uh, I've got a submission in for this week. Oh, sorry, Lucas. <sighs> All right. One more thing. One more thing. Uh, let's see. Here's the one more. Lego Trolls. Don't know if you've seen the Trolls World Tour. I have now after buying like a couple different sets and I love it. And it is so cool. This is the Caterbus. You only see this for a hot second at the end of the movie. Like I watched the movie twice trying to find this thing and I was like, for real, that's, that's it? Like I thought maybe, you know, I nodded off at a different point in, in the thing. And yeah, they, they only show it like at the very end of the film. Now, unbeknownst to me, there was another, well, I mean, I probably knew, but I just didn't pay any attention that there was another Trolls movie before that. So I'm going to have to go back and watch it because maybe it shows up in there, but I don't know. We'll find out. But I've I've been getting these these sets. Um, Vibe City Concert, the last one I got. I got it mainly for the parts because the parts are phenomenal. Um, and then I got like uh, the Pop Village because the parts are phenomenal. It's got like a, uh, an amazing amount of the dark turquoise color that I really love. Uh, but it also features these and Vibe City's got one too. And these are medium lavender. And you, I've seen these in uh, Jurassic World sets and other places. Uh, they're in the bonsai tree in a, in a different one. Fortnite and Lego. Yeah. But uh, the thing with Fortnite is, and, and at least the thing for me with Lego, is when, when I start, first started getting into Lego, I, I got Lego to make things that didn't have a other toy representation as it was. Um, I mean, that's that's why I don't have too many Star Wars things because there there are other sources for Star Wars stuff that is a little bit more accurate. Um, but Lego can be amazingly accurate. You can make anything in the world. You can make it as detailed as you want, just depending on the scale that you want to build it at, right? Um, but Fortnite, I, I can see them doing like um, a CMF series. I would I would totally buy Fortnite CMFs. I bought uh, everything from Overwatch, uh, except for Bastion, just because I loved all the figures. And I've never played Overwatch. You know, um, Dimensions, when Dimensions was out, I bought as many of those as I could that weren't like Lord of the Rings, because I'm not really a Lord of the Rings person. Um, and, you know, some of the things that I already had characters for, and then even, even Chima. I, 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 I like the Chima figures. Um, some of, some of, some of the stories and backstory stories, backstories, uh, animations, comics and things. I don't, I don't really read too much, but I did watch all the hidden side videos, which were actually pretty good. Uh, and I've watched monkey kid and monkey kid is awesome. Uh, the demon booking is actually the basis, uh, for a lot of the, the things that I have there in Galactus. Uh, but Monkey Kid is great. Monkey Kid, I believe, is in Korean or Chinese. I'm not. I, I'm not honestly not sure. I do apologize for that. But it it doesn't matter because it transcends language. Uh, his nickname is MK, and they just say MK, and you can totally understand when they say hey, MK. I'm like, yeah, that's my dude. Um, but yeah, like the animation, it just like it tells you what's going on without you having to. Uh, be told what's going on, right? So uh, check it out. The episodes are great. It, definitely some going to be some more that I'll be getting uh, at some point. Uh, last Overwatch set, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, my nephew did end up getting uh, that set. 
and he put it together and he loved it. And I think it was the first one he did. Uh, the only one that he didn't get was, or to my understanding, was the uh, um, oh, Watch Point Gibraltar. Watch Point Gibraltar, which which I've got. And it's up over here in my uh, in my space section. Which you can't really see too well because there's uh, a lot of light coming in there. But let's see. We got the Falcon. We got uh, Poe's new X-Wing. We've got the last uh, Slave One that they came out with. And then we got the two ships from the Guardians of the Galaxy, the original Milano, and then this orange number over here, uh, Saturn V, which is awesome, of course. Also up there you might not be able to see is the women of NASA, uh, various Daleks of uh, different shapes and sizes, plus the Watch Point Gibraltar ship. Uh, I At one point, I knew the name of that shuttle. Uh, I can't think of it right now, but it's it's also got that little shuttle piggybacking on it as well. Uh, TARDIS is up there. Uh, my new little bonsai tree is up there. Uh, Lego Ideas is having an activity thing right now where uh, it's like a, is it a 15 piece bonsai? Do a 15 piece bonsai tree? So me being a fan of bonsai trees, I did one. And especially making like little bonsai, like miniature bonsai, bonsai. Yeah. I really like this thing. Uh, it's, it's a little bit fragile. There's like one point right here that uh it just it's you look at it wrong it'll fall off um but yeah i really i really like doing this tree and i love doing trees like this i would love to have like a miniature garden full of miniature trees but i don't know we'll, we'll see space is an issue um that's the one thing that's really that can really hamper you with a Lego collection is space, enough places to contain it. That's why I had to get that extra layer built up of the city there just to fit things <laughs> underneath it because I, I love cars and I love traffic setups and I need more road. I need more road. Um, so what I'm actually thinking of doing now is rebuilding or building tables specifically for the city. Um, and then making two levels so I don't have to have all that web work underneath it of, of the Technic bits and the uh, supports and whatnot. Uh, and then taking all those Technic bits and supports and making this massive garage, <laughs> like a parking garage, right? Like, you know, this the thing you'd find in any metropolitan area where you got, you know, layer upon layer upon layer of people parking their cars. And then, you know, the bottom's all filled up. So you gotta go higher to park and then so I, I don't know why, but I, I, I think that would be a pretty cool idea. So I, I kind of want to do that. So I want to make tables. Uh, plus, I think the tables would allow me to uh, get everything organized in here a little bit more. Um, but yeah, okay. So yes, lunchtime. Uh, thanks again for stopping by. Thanks for liking everything. But yeah, check it out. I will be doing this again on Monday, um, hopefully starting around 8 a.m. if I can get my act together. Fingers crossed. Right. Peace out. Take care.